Greetings, everyone. I'm looking forward to sharing with you the new features of the Collaborate Board activity in Nearpod. So here I am at nearpod.com. I'm logged into my account. As you probably know, we can come up here to Quick Launch and we can start a Collaborate Board right away. But of course, we can also add a Collaborate Board to a longer form lesson as well. But I'm going to get right into Collaborate Board so we can look at the new features that we have available to us. Alrighty. So as usual, we have our topic, right, where we can provide a topic and a description. All right. So we're going to do a start, stop, and keep brainstorm on our Collaborate Board. And so what's new about Collaborate Board is the layouts. So the grid layout up here is what we've been using, but now we have columns. So when you do an activity like a start, stop, keep, you can utilize the columns layout in order to organize the information. So I can label these. I'm going to go ahead and give them the labels to align with my activity. And so there I have my three columns, one for what to start, what to stop, and what to keep. And so now we can really organize our thinking. Up here at the top, we have student options. So here are several options we can turn on and off, even in midstream while, we, while we're actively using the Collaborate board. But we have students can see names, so we can have that on or off. Maybe we want uh, to see the names uh, with each post. Students can edit responses. So um, if you want to allow students to go in and make changes to something they've already posted, you could turn that on. Approve student posts, right? We've had that where you can turn on the approval comments. This is new. Students can now comment or reply to each other's posts so they can actually start having a conversation around the individual post. And then you can approve, you can turn on approval for the comments as well. All right, so that's the student options, which are new. And then we have media types here. So uh, as you know, we've had images, right? The ability to quickly search up an image on the internet and add that to our post. We now have videos, so you can search videos now. That can be turned on or off. We now have record audio, uh, and this is great for students who are English learners or they're not, they're younger learners who aren't as adept at typing yet. We can turn on the ability to record audio, and then we can turn on and off GIFs. And you can see those down here. This is a preview showing where the students would click to share their idea and then the options to upload image, search video, record audio, or search uh, animated GIF. Okay, so that's the media types. Then we also have the add image here, which we, we've had. That's been good as well. If you want to have an image that your audience looks at prior to engaging in the activity. All right, so let's take a look at this and see what it might look like as we're engaged in the activity. Okay, so I'm now in here as an attendee and I can go, I, I can see the column headers up here at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and share my ideas. I'm going to type my idea and then I specify over here which column I will be sending it to. Start, stop, or keep. In this case, it's for start. I'll go ahead and select that and send it. And there's my post. Perhaps I want to post something under the stop column. Go ahead and type in my response. Select stop at the right and I can post that to the stop column. All right, and let's go ahead back over to the teacher view. So here we can see the new posts have come in. You'll notice we have the ability to like the post and now we have comments. Since we turned on commenting, I can go in here as the instructor 
and provide some feedback or just provide a response. And as usual, we also have the ability to sort all of the posts by the number liked. But that location has changed. The sorting used to be over here at the top right. It is now over here where we see oldest to newest. We can click this drop down and sort by most likes as well. And of course, we can sort by names A to Z. And that is essentially all of the new features of the Collaborate board. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy these new features.